We're officially in 2023. Literally in a boat. Biggest change right now in the world is these drones. These drones are flying above you. These birds ain't real. I don't know what to say. It's a whole new beast nowadays. I just want to understand what is going on behind the scenes and help other people realize and unlock the capabilities that these social media networks guard because they don't want you understanding how it all works. They want to use you. So with that, let's sail into it. Trying to keep it as concise as possible, this is what I'm looking at in regards to the foundation that I'm establishing with my project. It's a huge undertaking. I'm using two frameworks. Luckily, both are built in Python, so I don't need to learn JavaScript or React or any of these other front-end frameworks because I really don't have the energy, and I'd rather not divert my resources into that. With machine learning, AI, and all the other advances in technology, Python has really taken the edge off of what is the competition. It is at the highest level a simplistic language, but the tools that are able to be built off of it have made it number one in regards to growth and as a language that you should learn. So for both of these frameworks being written in Python, it gives me what is uniformity and a way that I can easily scale these without needing a bunch of other different languages under the roof. But what I'm trying to do here is set up two different running applications that have the ability to communicate with each other through API calls this is a complex problem to accomplish. With where I currently stand, I have what is my Django side of the application, and I have built out what is my Dash side of the application. They look very similar, but they are extremely different. And to articulate that, I want to dive into what is the database. This stores all of the different states of my Dash applications within Django. Currently, they are all located underneath the same roof, and I'm trying to decouple what is this relationship. As you can see, I have 563 stateless apps for what is my Django application. That's a lot. <laughs> Instead of running all of these different applications, I need to shorten load times, and I need to make this more seamless for mobile development and provide a foundation that will actually scale me into the future. So I had to rethink everything from the ground up. When Dash Plotly Django was created, and that's the pip install that was used to create this map, it was built at the start of Dash. That was in 2018, 2017, but with where we're sitting in the past year, we've had huge advances in what is the Dash framework. We've allowed what is the ability to host pages. So instead of only having one main application, now it could be layered. And as you can see, this is how it kind of works. I have in front of you is a profile. This is eventually going to be used for users to pick whatever account that they want and it will translate to their profile avatar. Then it will translate information and carry it over whenever they are logged in or display it for those that are looking up their character. Outside of that, I needed to resolve what is the login logout because that is the basis for everything I'm trying to scale into. If I can get this down, then I can set up an inventory system. I can set up a lot of other different features in regards to this development stack. With where I currently sit, I have been able to get login, username, and password working in some aspects. As you can see, if I log in with a username and password, it shows that I was able to log in to the framework. That's awesome. It was able to move it over to Django and it logs me over on Django side of things and it returns what is a structured request back to the application. My problem though is referring back to this, I get the data back from the API of you were successfully logged in and I cannot save it 
to the overall top level of the Dash application because every time that I open up a new page, it refreshes what are all the variables. So I'm trying to use cache, I'm trying to use cookies, I'm trying to use sessions, a lot of different options available, but I am trying to resolve this problem. But it is cutting edge in what is a new development way of doing things. So it takes time. And I'm very encouraged with what I have seen so far, but I'm still struggling and pulling out my hair. So if anybody has a lot of experience with, uh, you know, sessions or with understanding how you can relate information from cookies between different applications or a way that might work, please reach out. I recently structured all of this and what is this post where I'm giving examples of how everything works and if you are interested in understanding the API, login authentication, uh, all these other really advanced interesting topics, check out this in the links down below. I'd rather not waste your time and go through it line by line but there is a lot of really useful information in what I have already structured and with where I am sitting. So with all this stated, this is going to take some time to fully develop. I understand that. I'm making headway where I can and I'm excited for the way that it is looking in regards to mobile development. Let me show you. As you can see, it's going to refresh and this is what the mobile version looks like. Uh, and even for the map, it looks really decent. But everything is at a point where I am about breakthrough. Breakthrough into a new age of being able to manage full stack social media applications rather than having yeah, companies. And there's only like three or four to choose from that have all the power in the space. I really see the internet moving forward in a way that is going to be decentralized. And that's what I'm excited for. And I'm trying to learn what is the underlining language so I can articulate and help other people understand the technology and how it can be used to benefit your life and to create structure around important things. So follow me along this journey and subscribe, like, give me support where you can because this is going to be what is a huge project.